Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Today we're going to discuss the new civil cover sheet, which goes into effect January 1st of 2020. We're going to log into the portal and go to the eFiling map and then to our case initiation filing path. We're going to select Duval County to initiate our new case in Duval County. The new civil cover sheet goes into effect January 1st of 2020 for circuit civil and county civil cases. The new jurisdictional limit for county civil is $30,000 and the jurisdictional limit for your small claims cases is $8,000. And a new cover sheet is now required for your county civil case types. All that means for you as the filer through the portal is that when you come to the case information page, you will have a few extra fields to fill in. The portal will still populate and create your civil cover sheet, so you do not need to create one, save it as a PDFA document, and submit it through the portal. You simply go through the case initiation page, as I will show you now. We will select county civil as our case type, we will scroll down here to select a county civil monetary damages and then select from here what best describes the new case you will be creating. From your proceeding type of case, the portal will default to the county civil case types. You would choose what applies whether or not it is a complex business case. The remedy sought will select monetary for this demonstration. And a claim amount. This is a new field that you will have to submit. And when you tab through this field, the portal will automatically add the comma for the proper formatting of your claim amount. The number of causes of action. Is it a class action suit? Are there related cases? If you have related cases and you know what those are, you're to fill them in there. And then whether or not there is a jury trial demanded. That is all you need to do to generate the case information part of your civil cover sheet. Now you will click on next. And for most counties, you will add your plaintiff and your defendants to your case. For purposes of this demonstration, however, I'm going to jump over to our Documents tab and show you that you have created your civil cover sheet simply by going through the Case Information tab on the new case filing path. Let's take a look at your new civil cover sheet. And you can see here that had I filled in the plaintiff and defendant, they would have been listed. But there is your claim amount. It also takes you into the type of case, moves you down to the county civil area, and allows you to select what applies. And then the rest of your civil cover sheet is created. Your signature is automatically added, and it's automatically added to the filing path. So now all you need to do is add in your complaint and go ahead, select your service list, pay your fees, and review your submission. So for purposes of creating your new civil cover sheet for the new jurisdictional limits in your circuit civil, county civil, and small claims cases, there is nothing that you need to do other than go through the case information tabs when you're submitting a new case. Thank you.